In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create and use prefabs. Now the one thing about prefabs that you have to realize is that the animations on a prefab have to be at the root level and I'll show you that a little bit later but that's just a key thing uh, that SmoothMoves won't be able to build uh, prefab animations that are too deep in a prefab structure and that's just because Unity doesn't let you go through a prefab and pick out particular pieces of it and update them. So first let's let's start by creating a prefab. Now we have the chef animation from a previous uh, tutorial and what I could do is I could create the prefab here like this so I have the chef but the problem is like I just mentioned the chef animation is not at the root level so it's not going to be rebuilt if it's if you click the force build uh, which is really bad because it'll just keep its old data um, that's not going to be desirable so let's delete that instead let's drag the chef animation itself as the prefab so now this part of it is going to be rebuilt because it's at the root level the animation object is at the root level so that's how to create a prefab now to actually use a prefab let's go ahead and create a script here called chef maker let's open up mono develop To use our library. And let's make a reference to the chef prefab. Now at the startup, let's create an instance of a chef. And that's it. That's all you have to do. So let's save it. Let's create a new game object. Let's make this the chef maker. Reset its position. Drag the script over. Now we're going to reference the chef prefab that we just created here. And what that's going to do is going to create a chef at the root level. Let's go ahead and delete our previous chef so that there's nothing in the scene and let's hit play. So you can see our chef maker created this chef prefab. Now we could go and do a few more. Instead of at the zero position let's offset it a bit. Make one to the left and one to the right. Let's try this again. So now the chef maker made three chefs offset by 100 to the left, 100 to the right. So that's an easy way you can create pre prefabs. Now you notice that the prefabs are all being created at the root level of the scene, which gets kind of messy, and I wouldn't recommend that. I recommend parenting them all under your actual prefab maker. So. Let's stop this. Go back to Chef Maker. So we'll go in here. We'll make each of these objects parent the Chef Maker. Save it back to Unity. Now when we hit play, you'll see that they're all underneath the Chef Maker. Now that's just a personal choice. I just like to keep everything clean and I usually like to attach whatever creator of a prefab object. I like to attach it all, all together like that. So that's how to use prefabs. So the key thing with prefabs is just make sure your animation is at the root level. Now let's say you wanted to create a prefab that was a, an object that had an animation nested in it. You can't create that directly because of the limitations I explained before where the animation has to be at the root level. So what we'll do that is what we'll do is make an indirect reference to it. So let's start by creating an empty game object. Let's call that chef. 
reset its position and we'll go ahead and attach the chef2 script from before but we're gonna make some modifications to that chef2 script so let's open that up first thing we're gonna do is create a public access to the chef prefab should say chef animation prefab and we'll instantiate that animation directly under the chef object at runtime and make its parent the chef object Now, one difference here is that before we were publicly referencing the chef animation in its hierarchy, but that doesn't exist yet. So let's make this a private variable so we don't have to set it up at runtime. And let's reference it here by getting the component from the animation that we just created. So now we can use this animation just like we were before. The only difference is that the animation is created at runtime and then referenced at runtime. So let's save this and let's make a new prefab from the chef object. So now we have two prefabs, the chef prefab and the chef animation prefab. Now the chef prefab needs a reference to the chef animation prefab, so let's drag that here. So now when the chef is instantiated, it will in turn instantiate a chef animation below it. And that gives you your nested hierarchy while still having the prefabs at the root level. So on the, let's go ahead and delete the chef object and go to the chef maker. Instead of referencing the chef animation, we're going to reference the chef. So now the chef maker will create chefs, which will then in turn create chef animations for each one. So let's hit play. You can see here in our hierarchy, you got the chef maker, a chef, and an animation, chef, an animation, chef, an animation. So that's the way to get around the prefab uh, nesting level limitation in Unity.